Emerald Tablet of Hermes. The Emerald Tablet is an ancient artifact that reveals a profound spiritual technology, which has survived to this day despite centuries of effort to suppress it. Encoded within the tablet's mysterious wording is a powerful formula that works in very specific and comprehensible steps on all levels of reality at once, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual, and shows us how to achieve personal transformation and even accelerate the evolution of our species. The source of alchemy and the hermetic sciences, the tablet's universal approach made it forbidden knowledge, condemned by patriarchal powers for thousands of years, from the Egyptian priesthood to the medieval church, to our modern politicians and religious leaders, to ensure the survival of such dangerous principles which guide people to higher states of consciousness. The ancients concealed their knowledge in a succinct declaration that has become a time capsule of wisdom for future generations. Molded out of a single piece of green crystal, the Emerald Tablet carries a prophetic message full of hidden meaning. Although its true origin is lost in legends that go back over 10,000 years, the wondrous artifact was translated into Greek by the Alexandrian scholars and actually put on display in Egypt in 330 BC. Around the year 400 AD, it was reportedly buried somewhere on the Giza Plateau to protect it from religious zealots who were burning libraries around the world at that time. Many believe the tablet still lies hidden there Working only with these translations, many seekers of truth recognized in subsequent centuries that the Emerald Tablet contained a secret formula for transforming reality. Many alchemical drawings are really schematic diagrams of the steps and operations of this Emerald Formula. The alchemists used these diagrams like Eastern Mandalas and meditated on them in their laboratories to achieve altered states of consciousness. The unaccredited source of many of our mystical and religious traditions, the tablet also inspired over 3,500 years of alchemy, a period in which some of the most creative minds in the world delved into the intertwined mysteries of matter, energy, soul, and spirit. Most medieval alchemists had copies of the tablet hanging on their laboratory wall. It was the only guidance they needed in both their meditation and practical work. It served as their Rosetta Stone for deciphering the deliberately obscured terminology of their art. This is the text of the Emerald Tablet of Hermes. It is true without untruth, certain and most true. That which is below is like that which is on high, and that which is on high is like that which is below. By these things are made the miracles of one thing. And as all things are and come from one, by the mediation of one, so all things are born from this unique thing by adaptation. The sun is the father and the moon the mother. The wind carries it in its stomach. The earth is its nourisher and its receptacle. The father of all the Thaleem of the universal world is here. Its force or power remains entire if it is converted into earth. You separate the earth from
from the fire, the subtle from the gross, gently with great industry. It climbs from the earth and descends from the sky and receives the force of things superior and things inferior. You will have by this way the glory of the world and all obscurity will flee from you. It is the power strong with all power, for it will defeat every subtle thing and penetrate every solid thing. In this way the world was created. From it are born wonderful adaptations of which the way here is given. That is why I have been called Hermes Trismegistus, having the three parts of the universal philosophy. This that I have called the solar work is complete. Interpretation of the Tablet from Madame Blavatsky What is below is like that which is above, and what is above is similar to that which is below to accomplish the wonders of the one thing. As all things were produced by the mediation of one being, so all things were produced from this one by adaptation. Its father is the sun, its mother the moon. It is the cause of all perfection throughout the whole earth. Its power is perfect if it is changed into earth. Separate the earth from the fire, the subtle from the gross, acting prudently and with judgment. Ascend with the greatest sagacity from earth to heaven and unite together the power of things inferior and superior. Thus you will possess the light of the whole world, and all obscurity will fly away from you. This thing has more fortitude than fortitude itself, because it will overcome every subtle thing and penetrate every solid thing. By it the world was formed. Translation of the Tablet by Isaac Newton Tis true without lying, certain, and most true, that which is below is like that which is above, and that which is above is like yet which is below, to do ye miracles of only one thing. And as all things have been and arose from one, by ye mediation of one, so all things have their birth from this one thing by adaptation. The sun is its father, the moon its mother. The wind hath carried it in its belly, the earth its course. The father of all perfection in ye whole world is here. Its force or power is entire if it be converted into earth. Separate thou ye earth from ye fire, ye subtle from the gross sweetly with great industry. It ascends from ye earth to ye heaven, and again it descends to ye earth and receives ye force of things superior and inferior. By this means, you shall have ye glory of ye whole world, and thereby all obscurity shall fly from you. Its force is above all force, for it vanquishes every subtle thing and penetrates every solid thing. So was ye world created. From this are and do come admirable adaptations, whereof ye means is here in this
Hence, I am called Hermes Trismegistus, having the three parts of ye philosophy of ye whole world. That which I have said of ye operation of ye sun is accomplished and ended. <laughs>